Well, I'm back, people. I'm missing one, missing one talk. I gotta get some straps. The guy that repowered my load, he left this box of bungees. But as you can see, it's only a half a box. So yeah, we gotta do something about that. I already got a load. I just gotta go back to the terminal and pick up some more equipment. We're gonna be ready to roll out. Make sure all my damn lights work. Yeah, I already got a load, so I gotta hurry up and get to, get to the terminal in Missouri, pick up my equipment. Let's get it, baby. Flatbed game. Y'all ain't about that life. I'm about it. Yeah, man. I basically just had to repower myself. Got some brand new V-Boys. Come on, I was on my last trailer. I'm ready to roll, man. Mr. Warlord, Missouri, Ohio. Missouri, not Missouri, Missouri. It may sound like I said Missouri, but I didn't, bro. I know where I'm at, Missouri. I just drove 600 miles to get here yesterday. Let's get it. What up, gang? I basically just did a repower on myself. Just picked up all my equipment I needed. I had to get another tarp. I had to get some uh, straps. I had to get two more coil racks. I lost my V-boards on my last trailer, so I got some more here. Got some more windshield wiper fluid. I got a lot of shit in here, man. I, had, I ain't had time to straighten up. Like, look right there, I got bungees and fucking uh, gel stuff. Windshield wiper fluid. But I wanted to take the time to show y'all how I get myself situated for my load. When I pull this up, Write down the load number. 1994320. Write that down. Right where I'm picking it up at. It's always good to write this stuff down. I did a repower with one guy one time. And he was um I asked him about something because we did a repower and uh he he was put opening up his phone with the Transflow app and he didn't have no service, so that shit was goddamn taking too long. So I like to write my stuff down. My trainer taught me this. Write down if it got to be tarped or not. Write down where it's delivering to. Write down the mileage, just so I know. And also, when I uh, go to wherever I'm picking it, go, go wherever I'm at, uh, wherever the shipper's at, I take my little tablet in there with me. And that way I have the, the bill of lading number and the pickup number and all that stuff. That way I don't have to um, go back to my truck again and, and waste time. Customer pickup number, write that down. Sometimes you get to these places, man, the bill of lading to work. Sometimes the bill of lading don't work. Sometimes you gotta get the customer pickup number. 1491896. Yeah, it's always good to, to have everything wrote down. Uh, and this one right here, this is the first time I actually dealt, had one like this. The bill of lady number and the customer number are, are the exact same. 149. But I'm going to write, even though I see that both of them are the same, I'm still going to write both of them down, just in case it might be like one digit off or something like that. I don't have time right now. I got to hurry up and get there because I'm already running behind because I had to come back to the terminal and pick this stuff up. But usually what I do, I go ahead and Google map it. And, and see what uh see what it says on Google Maps, and get a better idea of it. And I also write down my fuel solution too. I also write that stuff down too. Right now, router cannot produce a route. Okay, okay. I don't have a I don't have a fuel solution just yet. 
but I got enough fuel to make it to um make it to where I'm going. I always read the matter of fact I gotta go back and see exactly where that's at. Next tech. Next tech, Pittsburgh. It just says a tarp load. And it's raining. That ain't no problem though. I'm an expert tarper. I don't even know if I'm I might might be picking this up inside of a building. Steel products. Let me write this address down. So usually usually I wouldn't have to rush like this because I get the pre-plan first and then I send the pre-plan commitment back. And then uh, um so that, that usually takes a little bit of time to get that to get the load assignment exactly back. But today is, is kind of different. Let me make sure I got my delivery date right. Two eight. That's Friday. Yeah, so I got like a 561 mile run. 500 and uh whew. and i got two days to get it there but i've already wasted I'm, but see what i'm gonna do it's already getting late so i'm just gonna drive i don't know how far i'm gonna drive tonight so now i gotta see how far away it is and then i gotta send my dispatcher a message and give her an eta i'm not sure how many miles it is to get there Let's see if she get loaded into my dispatch. She ain't even got it in my dispatch yet. So I'm gonna have to put the navigation in manually. Next tick. There it is right there, Braddock Avenue. Let me make sure that's the right place. Man, one hour, 27 minutes. Let me make sure that's the right address. Because I have made a mistake before of, of Googling a location. And they had two, two factories in the same city. So I have made that mistake before. So always double check. Always double check. Make sure you're going to the right place. Next tech, 300 Braddock Avenue. Braddock Avenue. Never been there before. Pittsburgh, PA. Steel Fabricator. 81 miles. An hour, 26 minutes. Alright, I'll check in with y'all later. I got to talk to my dispatcher and we're gonna get this show on the road
Yeah. I'm gonna see you next. Uh -huh. So where you think you're gonna go next? Um, usually out of here we pick up spools. Spools? Yeah, a wire, wire spool. For where? Um, I don't know, some little town just south of here. Close to here. The what? Close to here. Uh-huh. I dropped, I dropped some spools off one time down here. St. Matthew, South Carolina. video man when I say flatbed game shout out my dog Brian man he just helped me out he knew I was a new driver I really didn't need no help but he helped me anyway gave me a little pointers flatbed game what up gang just wrapped up my first load back off of home time the footage might be kind of shaky because when I was picking my load up my GoPro actually fucking died on me. But I just got finished getting unloaded. I had another mountain driver. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Massachusetts. Fuck, I hate going to Massachusetts. Every fucking time, Massachusetts. Damn, I hate going to this motherfucker. Damn, I'm tired of that motherfucker. 199. Three, five. Anyway, man, my first load back. That shit was hectic, man. I went to Pittsburgh. The traffic in Pittsburgh is terrible. I had a hard time getting to the place that I was uh, picking up at. Because they had so much construction work going on. Man, it was hectic. I had a hard time backing up inside the place. Because it was like in a little industrial area they didn't have enough room to oh man i'm going to foxborough oh man y'all know where foxborough that maybe i might see tom brady when i get up there i'm going to foxborough maybe, maybe that make the trip to massachusetts a little better i don't know if they uh if they got any snow up there right now 
When I just left out of Ohio, it wasn't no snow. So I don't know if they got any snow. Let's get this thing on the road, man. Send back my pre-planned commitment. And we're going to get the address and we're going to roll up out of here. One, nine, nine. Four, nine. Three, five. Yeah, I had another mountain driver help me. His name was Bryant. A Spanish guy named Bryant. Speak perfect English. He's been with Melton for four years. Yeah, he I, I didn't even ask the guy for help. But uh, he just the, when I picked up, when I picked up in Pittsburgh, he was he was behind me. But he was out of hours, so he had to stay the night. And he um he came in there, he was like, I didn't know he was waiting on my same door. So uh he was like, um, I was putting my chains on one side. He went and did the other side, put the binders on them and all that. And then just now, he just uh, helped me, cause he he was waiting. He all he was he was already finished, and so he was waiting on his load. So he came back to my trailer and helped me put all my coil racks and all that stuff back up. So thanks, Brian, man. Hey, Brian, hey, hey, Melton, if y'all see this, Brian is the uh, make him the employee of the year. I'll take second place. I'm still learning. I, I can't do everything, but. Let's figure out where this place is at. Cause Melton ain't sent me the load assignment yet. So I'm gonna look it up myself and see where it's at. Yeah, they ain't sent me the address. They just, I just know the name of the place and I know the, the, the city that it's in. That's all I know. Remax, Greer, South Carolina. Greer, South Carolina. Let's see. 116 Trade Street. I don't know about this. This says real estate agency. Uh, real estate agency. What am I picking up? It doesn't. Let me see what I'm picking up. Uh, it, it could be. It could be. Uh, could be the place. I don't think that's it. That's not. That, that can't be it. Let's say re. Let's say re. Uh, let's try this one. Remax, Greer, South Carolina. Yeah, that that that's more like it right there. Uh, exporter. <laughs> I know I'm not going to a real estate agency. Let's get the address. Put it in my Qualcomm. First, I'm going to see how far away it is. Because I don't know. Melton might send me a fuel solution. 27 minutes. Okay. 27 minutes. And now, I'm going to look at the Foxborough, Massachusetts. Let's see, see how, how it's going to take me there. Okay, back up. Okay, back around Charlotte again. Back around Charlotte. All right, let me put this address in. Cause they still haven't sent me the address, so I'm gonna put it in myself. One, six, four, nine. South Baseville. I'm supposed to pick it up at 11. It's 9.38. Yeah, I got no time to make it there. Baseville Road. Greer, South Carolina. 1649 South Baseville Road. Okay, there it is. I got the address in. Yeah, man. See how you got you to gotta do stuff on your own sometimes? You can't wait for Melton. And I'm not saying Mel, you know, it's in any company. Don't, 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 uh, you know, don't, don't wait around for them to do everything for you. If you know where you got to go, go ahead and figure out how you're going to get there. Because it might be, uh, it might be another 15, 20 minutes before they send me the load assignment back. But I already got the address. It's 21 miles away, according to the Qualcomm. So I'm going to go ahead and head that way. 
by the time I get there, maybe by the time I'm about to pull up, melting to have the load assignment with the bill of lading and the pickup number and all that. They'll go ahead and have all that stuff ready. All right, man, thanks for tuning in. Flatbed game, House of Power, my dog Jay. Y'all boys starting pretty soon in two weeks. I seen y'all conversating back and forth on my video. One of them, oh, Ma Masary, Warlord, that's how you say it, Masary, Masary, Ohio, not not Missouri, because it sounds like the state of Missouri, but it's, you gotta say Masary, so yeah, man, I was just saying it wrong, I knew I knew it was a place, but you know, it's, it's the pronunciation, and uh, yeah, shout y'all boys out, man, stay safe out there, Eric, stay safe, Eric, you coming in March, everybody else, I don't know what's going on with my current coffee maker. Y'all seen it in one of my other videos. Y'all know what I'm talking about? This right here. I don't know what's wrong with it. I think I broke it when I went home. Cause I put the water in it, tried to make some coffee. And fast as I put the water in it, I see it leaking on the floor. So I think I must've cracked it. It got a, uh, got a leak in it or something. But I'm just gonna throw it in the trash when I, whenever I stop somewhere. And I might, I might stop it. When I get a chance to stop at Walmart, I'm gonna grab that Hamilton Beach thing that this other guy commented and told me about. A single serve coffee maker, Hamilton Beach. I'm gonna try that out. It's only like $40. And um, hey, what's $40 compared to stopping at Pilot or somewhere getting coffee? Well, you know, you gotta pay for Pilot like six cups, you get seven cup free. So uh, 40 bucks for some coffee, that's a good investment. All right, guys, check in later. I'm out. Guess what, gang? I just got to the to the shipper, Remax. As soon as I pulled up, I literally just pulled up just now. I got my I got my load assignment. It took me about 30 minutes to get here. So it's a good thing that I already got the address. Made it up here.